So we're here to check in about TA Tuesdays, have a chat about the project, how it's going. Um, you're the current chair of UCATA, so you've been the energy and the brains behind TA Tuesdays. <laughs> I've I've been the energy and the, some of the brains behind TA Tuesdays, but I'm not the all the energy and all the brains behind UCATA. There are other brains working alongside me. Yes. Yeah. So it's a, a very um, energetic organisation. There's a lot of energy at the moment, so um, I'm really pleased how things are going. We've got lots of people really involved in the organisation. Um, there's a really good feel. We've made some quite major changes over the last 18 months. So um, TA Tuesdays is, is has been one of those projects. Yeah. Could you tell me a little bit about TA Tuesdays, what we're up to? Yeah, so um, one of the things that, um, well, part of the constitution of UCARTA is about promoting um, TA. And so one of the things that we really wanted to do as a council was to um, was to do what we could to sort of raise the profile of TA nationwide. And so that was where the idea of TA Tuesdays came came from, is having a sort of regular spot where people could just tune in um, and hear someone talking about TA, how they apply it, uh, what areas they work in, what new ideas they might, they might have. Um, and so far, it's going really well. And we opened that up not only to, to the UK then, but, but decided to invite um, people worldwide that are interested in TA. Yeah, so do you have a sense of what countries are participating or? Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere, <laughs> yes, it's all over the place. So we've got a real range of range of countries. So obviously the obviously the UK, um, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, um, England, we've got um, people participating from Serbia, from Norway, from Albania, um, France, Germany, Switzerland, um, South Africa, America, um, Australia, worldwide really, um, and 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 the word is spreading, so people are telling each other a, a, about it, which is great, great news. Yeah, so it's lovely because some of the other professional associations in other countries are telling their members about it, and um, people who've been are then passing on the links to others, and the audience yeah. is growing. Yeah, definitely. So there's a really, yeah, a, a really vibrant, vibrant field to this, and it's a, it's a resource that everyone can tune into, and it's um, free, certainly free to attend the events. You can get the library access free if you're a student, any TA student anywhere in the world, um, and even as a qualified practitioner, it's it, it's cheap to access the, the library if you want to watch any of the videos at any other time. So, um, yeah, really pleased with it. Great. And I know you've been at most of the events yourself, yeah. Leilani, you've been in the chat room. Is there anything about the experience that you've particularly enjoyed? I think what I really like is the variety. So we've had four so far. We've had Mark Widdison, Francis Townsend, Clifton Supple, um, and then um, Richard Morn. And each of them have had quite different focuses. Obviously, their personalities are quite different. Um, and I really like that. So different talks are probably going to appeal to different people. Um, and I love the chat room as well. So it's really interesting to see people connecting in the chat room. So not just participating in the talk and listening, but also connecting with each other, which is, uh, which is great. Yeah, it's really exciting to be networking together and to, yeah, people who have maybe read their books and then in the chat room can ask questions about their work, about their theory. Exciting mm. stuff, really. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, very pleased.